our series of researcher profiles at Mary Immaculate College. This is Dr. Anne O'Keefe, Senior Lecturer in Applied Linguistics and English Language Teaching within the Department of English Language and Literature at Mary Immaculate College. Anne, I'd like to know a little bit more about your involvement in research at Mary Immaculate College. Well, my main area of research is called corpus linguistics. Um, a corpus is a collection of language and um, it's stored on a computer and you have uh, various types of software um, which allows you to do um, sophisticated analysis on the, the collection of language. The research centre IVAX, what does IVAX mean and what does the research centre do? Well, um, IVAX um, stands for the Intervarietal Applied Corpus uh, Studies Research Centre. Uh, it's a bit of a mouthful and sometimes I regret the choice, but I was really trying to capture what we do in the title. And what's core to what we do is compare language uh, which has been collected to form a corpus uh, with other types of language. So it could be comparing varieties on a geographical basis, comparing Irish English with British English, or comparing Irish English with Australian English, or it could be comparing varieties within Irish English, uh, for example, comparing the language we use in the family with the language we use in the workplace, the language we use at a shop, uh, shop counter. Where did your interest in linguistics come from in the first place? What attracted you to this area? When I finished college, I went to Spain for a year to teach English. And while I was there, you know, I had to explain English grammar, which I didn't fully understand myself. And well, that, that made me ask a lot of questions. And um, it motivated me then to go back to college and do a master's in English language teaching. And from that, I guess I gained a lot more insight into uh, the English language. And then I went on to to uh, do a PhD uh, using corpus linguistics. And you're a very prolific researcher and writer in this field. What was your very first experience of doing research? A few years after my master's, um, I saw um, a call for papers, and it was exact, uh, exactly the topic of my master's thesis. So I submitted a first draft, and that came back with lots and lots of reviewer comments and changes. So I had to go through another redrafting process and I went to a third draft. And this all happened over two or three years. You go through all the self-doubt and all oh, this will never be good enough. But in going through the process, you, you learn so much and you come out the other end. And I guess I never stopped after that. What advice do you have for beginning researchers? Sometimes research students put off writing, they need to say they need to read and obviously they do need to read their way into the topic but I think that the, the process of writing is hugely important so um, in order to arrive at the end product of a thesis you have to go through um, so many drafts. So I would advise students to start writing and to become confident as a writer and to find your, your voice as a writer, that's another very important thing. Again, if you put off writing, you just feel that what you write then is never good enough. You've externally examined five PhD theses, supervised four completed PhDs, and you have seven PhDs currently ongoing under your supervision. What would be your top tips for your own students? Expect that there will be points along the way where they will hate their research area, they'll want to give it up, they'll want to just walk away. That's totally normal. Um, stay in touch with your supervisor is very important as well. Your supervisor has a very important role, obviously, so don't, don't hide from your supervisor. Um, I would say set um, doable targets, like for each semester, it may be just one chapter, but it's a doable goal within the time period. Don't set yourself um, undoable targets and then become really disappointed. And I would also say and um, to get out there and go to conferences and preferably go to conferences and give conference papers. That's a really excellent way of getting feedback but also um, it, it allows you grow in confidence, it allows you get free uh, advice from experts on your research topic and then your name becomes known and then people invite you to maybe co-author a chapter or invite you to do a chapter for a, a book. I guess immerse yourself into the research community as much as possible. Um, and that mentoring process is very important within IVAX. Uh, it's very important that uh, we bring PhD students together and we do that through, say, annual symposia and biennial conferences. A lot of your work has been described as groundbreaking and what has been your greatest achievement to date? My greatest achievement to date um, would be my involvement with the English Grammar Today uh, grammar uh, reference. It took four authors 
two years to actually research the grammar of English and describe it. It was a very grueling process, you know, but um, there was a great sense of achievement in actually being involved in such an enormous writing project. And um, in a way, ever since, uh, everything else seems so doable, you know, compared to the scale of that job. Um, also, I'm very proud of the uh, uh, being co-editor of the Routledge Handbook of Corpus Linguistics. It's a volume containing 46 chapters and I guess it's a great honour to be asked to, to edit a handbook uh, in my field. What are you working on at the moment, Anne? I'm working on three different papers. Um, I have three abstracts in and I have a few conference papers coming up. So there's a lot going on, but the main research project that I'm involved in is a very large scale and exciting project that I'm working on with um, Geraldine Mark. And it's called English Profile. And uh, we're working on um, almost 50 million words of learner um, language, that is, um, learners who've taken English language tests around the world. So it means that um, analysis then can be done on the types of errors that they make. Our um, research goal is to try to describe the grammar that learners can do at each level. So what's groundbreaking about that is that it may actually contradict an awful lot of the assumed um, uh, ideas about what students know at different levels or indeed what you should be teaching them at different levels. And it's been lovely to talk to you today. Thank you so much. Very welcome. Bye.